How's it going guys, it's Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to enable guided access on your iPhone or iPad. You do need to have iOS 6 or later installed on your device for this to work but the first step you're going to take is go over to your settings options and then from settings scroll down to where it says general and tap on that and then from the general tab scroll down to the very bottom to where it says accessibility go ahead and tap on accessibility and then about halfway down from the accessibility tab, you'll see an option for learning and guided access. Go ahead and tap on guided access and you can see mine is set to off, which means it's disabled. Obviously to enable it, all we have to do is switch the off switch to on. We get two options right over here. One is to set a passcode, which I'll do in a second. And the second is to enable screen sleep, which I'm going to leave off for now because it does enable the power button up top and also makes the screen time out. So I am going to enable a passcode like I said and I definitely recommend making a passcode that's easy for you to remember because you don't want to end up forgetting it once you enable guided access because you're going to be end up you know getting stuck in a certain application which definitely will cause headaches down the line but first I'm going to show you, you know why this is actually practical uh, for example I give my phone to my nephew a whole bunch to play with like games or whatnot and let's say for example he opens up this game if I were to just give it to him without enabling guided access what happens is he'll be able to press home get into my phone, get into my mail, get into my message and do all the things that kids do and you know I definitely don't want that to happen so the way I can protect myself is when I have the app that he wants to play on open I can just triple click the home button so triple click and you have to do it really fast because if you do it slow it'll just go back to the home screen and you get a few options here on the top right we get an option to start top left is cancel and the bottom left is options so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit start and show you how it works so I'm gonna go ahead and hit run again you can see I have full access to the app you know I can play the game as you know you normally would so it's not going to limit the functionality of the app itself but what it does limit is the ability to do other things for example let's say my nephew is playing and he wanted to go home so he would press the home button and you can see it doesn't work so he could press it doesn't work and uh, it's not just that he could actually even you know try to press the volume buttons nothing is working even the power button up top won't work unless of course you enable that screen off option that I talked about earlier but nothing works so you're thinking you know how am I going to get out of this well same way you got in you're going to triple click the home button and you're going to get an option to put in your password so I'm just going to go ahead and enter it in really quick that's why I said it's important to make one that you remember you get the same options again up top but this time it's to resume to end and of course we have options in this case I'm going to hit end and you can see it says guided access ended now when I press home I could actually get out of it which basically restores my normal phone functioning but it's a great thing you know to have when you're giving your phone to kids or you're just giving your phone to somebody you know you don't want them kind of pulling a prank on you going on your Facebook but anyways that's pretty much it for me in this video if you found it helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you for watching